What's going on, Mother Truckers? Uh, welcome to Mother Trucker News. Email us at mothertruckernews at gmail.com. Just want to start out this video by just saying congratulations to all the UPS drivers. It looks like there are over 340,000 of you. And this message comes from uh, Sean O'Brien, president of Teamsters himself. I'd like you guys to hear this here. It's a historic deal with UPS. Uh, it's a $30 billion deal that will go in the pockets of all our members, both full-time and part-time. Well, the first thing we did is we went out and talked to our members and listened to our rank and file members who have to work in these conditions. And we you know, got direction and, and guidance from them. We eliminated two-tier wage systems. We put air conditioners in trucks. We also uh, improved pensions. We maintain health care. Uh, we've done a lot of great work. We got UPS to agree on Martin Luther King Day as a paid holiday. We've made so many, so many improvements in this contract all for the benefit of our members. We took care of the part-timers, driving that starting wage rate up, taking care of long-term part-timers, make sure they're rewarded, and everybody was rewarded for their hard work. So tremendous victory. It's a tremendous victory for labor. So basically a tentative deal has happened. And basically what that means is uh, the Teamsters, the union, and UPS, the company, have come out to a tentative agreement that now will be voted on by their members. And if it goes through, then, I mean, they're good for another five-year contract. Now, one thing that's for sure is, you know, the Teamsters wouldn't even make this public if they didn't think that it was going to pass. But still, they have to go through their process and the members have to vote. So if you work for UPS, uh, tell me this, uh, Mother Truckers, uh, uh, have you seen what the deal is and are you happy with what it says on it, right? I have read some messages where people have said that they believe that the deal isn't that great and they feel that the Teamsters let UPS take advantage of them. Others have said that they are very happy with it. You know, um, per Teamsters, it says uh, labor leverage wins historic tentative agreement at UPS for the past year. Rank and file UPS Teamsters nationwide leveraged their power and unity as the strongest and most reliable workforce in parcel delivery. This coordinated and committed effort resulted in Tuesday in a tentative agreement for the richest and most respectful Teamsters contract in the history of UPS. Wages will go up by a larger percentage than ever before for all workers over the life of the agreement. If improvements were achieved for pensions, industry leading health care coverage was maintained. Air conditioning was secured in the collective bargaining agreement for the first time. So was MLK Day as a full holiday for everyone. The unfair 22.4 two tier wage system was abolished. All drivers will be regular package car drivers and their wages will be the best in the business. Part timers will be awarded even more for staying with the company and continuing to sacrifice their labor. As the UPS Teamster National Negotiation Committee endorsed the tentative agreement in Washington, D.C., it was profound and moment for Teamsters representatives and rank and file members in the room from across the country. History was made. Corporate America was pushed to the wall. This is what a union contract looks like. This is what a campaign is all about. This is what labor does. This is the Teamsters, it says. You know, overall, Mother Truckers, uh, tell me what are your thoughts about this? But yeah, it looks like they came to bat. They're here to play. And UPS as a whole uh, collectively has a one on both sides. You know, let's read some of these comments that people are saying here. You know, when it says we've changed the game, Teamsters win historic UPS contract. Ed says a 32 year veteran. I have three years to go until retirement. This will be my last contract. Thanks for making it happen. Christy says, congrats to the negotiation party. Thank you for all the hard work. Sean says, proud of my vote for OZ. Great job, guys. Donna says, 340,000 strong. A huge thank you to everyone that put this together and got it done. It took a lot of hours, a lot of hours away from family. I appreciate all of you. Jalissa says, woohoo. Congratulations, Teamsters. James says, thank you for putting in the time and fighting hard on this historic contract. Cody says, thank you for all your hard work representing us. Dustin says, awesome work. Can't wait to see what you're doing for us uh, at United. 
Emily says, this is awesome way to go Teamsters. Or Dennis says, thank you, thank you, thank you. Great job done all by our brothers and sisters on all the negotiation, uh, negotiation committee nationwide. Truly an historic day. Milton says, congratulations on new contract. Um, let's see if there's any negative ones, right? Because all I'm seeing here is very happy, very positive. Overall, Mother Truckers, you know, what do you think about this? Are you happy about this? You know, earlier today, we released a video about uh, Yellow and YRC, and it looks like they're struggling really badly over there. I'll share this video later, but basically, there is a, a Teamsters memo that came out that pretty much said that, you know, they've been trying to go to the table with Yellow and Yellow just doesn't want to budge much. And then on the other side, uh, there is a yellow memo going out to all the truck drivers that state that because there was a potential strike that was going to happen uh, yesterday that, you know, a lot of their customers wanted to make sure that they got their freight. And because of that, uh, they went with other carriers. So that hurt them as well, right? So, but yeah, it looks like UPS uh, contract's about done. I would say yellow is probably the other big one, the big behemoth, especially, you know, over 22,000 members. And so I'm wondering if now they have more time, they can focus on uh, yellow and try to keep these people their jobs, right? At the end of the day, we just report on this, but I don't want them to go out of business. I want truck drivers to be able to have a job, right? So my truckers comment down below, but yeah, we'll get back to this. But overall, it looks like, uh, UPS has a great tentative deal that everyone most are happy with and we'll wait for the vote, but it looks like they wouldn't even bring this to the table if it wasn't a deal that they think they could get done and that their drivers would be happy. So, um, uh, truckers comment down below. Love you guys. Appreciate you guys. And yeah, we'll just give you guys the updated news every day on anything trucking logistics. That's what we do here on mother trucker news.